The first step in implementation is training. Make sure that all participants understand how to fulfill their roles in the recovery process. That means you've got to assign roles. You need to make sure that each person is comfortable with their role and then ensure they know how to fulfill those roles. Kind of like sitting in the exit row on a commercial airliner. First thing is they're going to ask you the question, are you sure you want to sit there? And if you say yes, you have to ensure that yes, I understand exactly what I'm having to do. I know how to open the emergency door. I know what to do in this case. And I know how to tell everybody else, follow me. The next step is to conduct overall awareness campaigns. You've already gotten the players, the primary players involved. They know their parts. Next step is to make everyone else aware of who the players are, what the players are going to be doing, should we need to enact this plan, and what they need to do. Make sure they're aware that there is a recovery plan. So when a disaster hits, they are assured that somebody has already thought this through. Make sure that all personnel are kept current. Every time you change the plan, and you should change the plan, because it depends on certain configurations of your business system and your business operation. Whenever any of those configurations change, then your disaster recovery plan has to be revisited, revalidated, and it should also change. Anytime any part of it changes, make sure you let everybody know. Let the participants know and let everyone who is affected. Ensure that you also have current documentation. When the plan changes, change the documentation, make sure it's always up to date and easily accessible. You should be able to go to anybody in your organization and ask where is the disaster recovery plan or where are the checklists and everyone who is affected should know exactly where those checklists live. You don't want this to be centered around one or two people. What happens if a disaster occurs when they're not around?